Capricorn. This is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the week of September 19, 2022. Thank you guys for stopping by. Uh, don't forget, JackieTomlin.com if you're seeking personal readings, okay? This is a week of good news arriving, uh, something that you're ready to celebrate. There is a caution here for you to slow down. I've seen this in several of the signs, and this is whether you're driving at home or at work, okay? Um, you need to put your foot down and say no to whoever's using or taking advantage of you. The help that you need is on the way. Get ready for a fast pace. It's more towards the end of the week, but things are really picking up for you. Some positive energy, positive thinking. A um, couple signs that may or may not resonate for you is going to be a Scorpio as well as a Sagittarius. Okay, so let's see what we have going on for you guys. First card up, we have the Queen of Swords coming in with a Virgo energy. Someone may have a sharp tongue or lash out at you, okay? I don't see a confrontation, but you need to know that it's present. You guys have the Ten of Pentacles. This is your abundance. Perhaps you've been waiting for your abundance to come in. Now, this is not only the highest financial card in the deck. It's everything. This is your health, your wealth, your love, money, friendship. It's all of it. All of it is there for you in reach. Three of Pentacles. What money you do have, you're working on building on. You're working and making that money work for you and making that money grow. Temperance comes in with a Sagittarius energy. Now this says that you recognize and embrace that when you do the same thing, you get the same results. So because of that, you're going to change things up. Since you're making the change, you're going to get a po more positive result. Eight of Wands comes in. Total happiness, total contentment, and love wands fall flying around. That is the center of your reading. We have the King of Wands, Aries. Uh, this is you taking authority. This is you saying, well, you know, I've done A, B, and C, so now we're going to switch things up and we're going to do X, Y, and Z. You're definitely dealing with a fire sign of some sort, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Okay? And with that, we have the Three of Wands. You're looking over the past, and what you're looking at is what worked well for you and what didn't work well for you. And you're pulling from that because you're waiting for your ship to come in. Okay? We have the full card energy, total happiness, total contentment. I really feel there's someone here that has made you happy or has played a role in this. Uh, you could be traveling just for the day or whatever, but it's happiness, contentment. Bottom line is you're getting ready to take a leap of faith. And we have the eight of swords. No one is holding you back but you. Okay. So let's go a little bit further with these messages. This is for Capricorn. For the week of September 19th, 2022. Okay, you have strength. Strength is on your side no matter what you do. That tells me you're going to be victorious no matter what you do. We have the star card energy. Now, the star says wish fulfillment. However, if there are any delays the week of the 19th, it's in your favor. Now, let me give you an example of that. That means like, let's say you're working on a deadline and you're not going to make that deadline and then two days are offered. So it's definitely going to be in your favor. With that, we have the King of Cups, the ultimate offer of love. Some of you dealing with a cancer energy. And we have the Hierophant. Now look at this card. You can see how she's manifesting, writing it down. Okay. Now, you're under a strong, heavy period of manifestation, bringing into you what you want to see happen. But don't forget, you know, let's go back to this self-imposed restrictions and being negative. You can manifest and draw into you the negative that, and not even realize that you're doing it. Okay? Four of Wands is a relationship on the table here. You are headed to a relationship. Divine timing card. If you are single, this is going to be significant. Okay, this is something of the long term. If you are in a relationship, you're actually going to ascend to the next level, which is engagements, living together. <laughs> then moving forward, we have, again, this is another fire sign, Leo energy. Someone grounded, centered. This is you pulling your act together. Okay, this is you. I think you're ready to move forward in whatever endeavor you're doing. And the Three of Wands comes in with total victory. Victory, success, surrounded by people you're not normally surrounded by. Some of you have an audience. Some of you are in the spotlight. 
okay? But it does scream total victory and success. We have the Empress card, the Mother card, positive changes on the home front, as well as the Wheel of Fortune says this is turning to your favor. It's also indicating to me a partnership. Could be in love, could be in business, and for some of you, it's going to be in both, okay? Center of the reading bonus, you do have decisions to make that you've been putting off for too long. I think we talked about that. All right, overall, straight to get through anything, manifestation, victory, and success is going to be a good week ahead. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, JackieTomlin.com if you're seeking personal readings, and I'll see you soon. Bye.